are this rising generation we sometimes refer to as the microwave generation. They're used to having things at the click of a button and to be able to pick out uh, what it is they want, uh, pop it in the microwave and in a couple minutes have, have their meal. And that mentality, um, which is also borne out by how we use our apps and how we use the television, able to click through and change quickly, has implications, uh, unfortunately, for sometimes how we operate in relationships. You can't just click a button when you don't like what your spouse says and go to another channel. You've got to learn how to deal with that. Uh, and all families, regardless of their structure, have to communicate with one another. Uh, they have to deal with conflict. They have to deal with their finances. But step families have some additional challenges in that there's often a, uh, another adult in the mix, uh, an ex-partner, uh, an ex-spouse, and increasingly we see that that uh, ex-spouse still very much wants to be in the picture. And then of course there's a, bio a non-biological adult in a parental role to these children. And so what I've had the privilege of doing is working with other curriculum authors to tailor their materials in a way that step families will be interested in that material and will get a lot out of that material. And so about a third of our step family classes have actually been with Latino families. But no one I don't think in the whole country has really studied Latino step families. And so we've been able to learn from them and tailor the curriculum to be more sensitive to uh, their culture and some of the needs that they experience. The goal is to help people avoid making bad decisions. Because once you get into a marriage and there's children involved, obviously we want to do everything we can to help that relationship work out. And everyone who applies for a marriage license in the state of Utah gets one of our 50-page books that uh, teaches them about how to have a healthy relationship and how to communicate well and how to fight effectively and how to deal with their finances effectively. And so that's a resource that goes out to approximately 24,000 people every year. Um, so I'm grateful to BYU for what they taught me and to be selected as an early career uh, service award winner uh, among all the people out there who are doing amazing things. It's just really humbling.